Hi, Drew Toys, the 13th of August 2012. Yesterday night was the Olympic ending ceremony where London bid farewell and handed over the torch to Rio de Janeiro. So, I thought it'd be appropriate to talk about the Olympic Games since you are a Londoner. However, while thinking about it, I realised I have no idea what I should vlog about. Do I vlog about the history of the Games? Or do I vlog about what hosting it meant for Britain? Or what it meant to me? Or how the final standings are important? So in the end, I've decided I'll vlog about all of them for a brief amount of time each. Because I realised I don't really know much about the Olympic Games. First, history, ripped straight off Wikipedia. In honour of Zeus, the Greek competed in Olympus from 76 BC to 394 AD, and the Roman Emperor Theodosius stopped it because he thought it contradicted with Christianity. The modern games began in 1896, with 14 nations and 241 athletes competing in 43 events, where it was decided that the games would rotate host every four years. Basically, the games were and are an awesome thing that commends athletic achievement. But what did it mean for London and Britain? For Britain, I think it made us appreciate, though we are a small country, we still are amazing and at the forefront of the world. Yes, of course, there were hiccups here and there, but overall it went smoothly and we were great hosts. But London not only did it act as a catalyst to revitalise itself, but it also showed London off to the world and showed the world how amazing we actually are. For me, it showed both these things, but unfortunately I wasn't able to attend any event. It showed me that... And yeah, I know it's a cliche, but peace is better than war. Yes, technically the countries are competing against each other for a prize. And yes, technically there are casualties, but not as much as war. It's a kind of stress release for countries, allowing them to compete against each other, regardless of background tension. Take a North Korea v USA women's football match. They both played with honour, regardless of political opinion. It also showed me that things are only as potent as we make them. Being able to throw a stick far is not needed in the modern world, yet we still congratulate the people who are able to throw them for long distances. We are all human, and though we may have different opinions, some being better than others, we still are human, and we need to work together to make humanity better and make the world a better place. The Olympics showed me that though there might not be a point of doing something, that doesn't make it any less while doing it. It showed me the payoff of hard work and how I probably should do more, but at least I recognise this and can change myself now. More on that in tomorrow's video. Final standing wise, Great Britain did well... great. Most people forget that we are such a small nation, and that our landmass could probably fit into any US state, and that we have 20 times less the population of China. So as a Briton, I'm immensely proud of what we have achieved and what the athletes have achieved. It's going to be a tough act to continue into the next games, but I'm sure we can do it. So Adrita, see you tomorrow.